In this video, we're going to learn how to create dependent pull-down menus in Excel. So here we have two tabs, animals and categories. We're going to have a list of animals, and then you're going to select a breed within that animal. So that's how this is dependent on the other. So depending on the animal we choose, it will then show us the breeds that we can select. So first you want to click on A2. Then you're going to click on the data tab. Then under the data tools group, you're going to pull down data validation, pull down the allow menu and select the list. Then under the source, you're gonna click on the up arrow here. And then we're going to select where these categories are going to come from. And in this case, it's dog, cat, bird. So you're going to select the headings. Then you're going to pull the menu down again here and then click OK. So right now you'll see we have the options for dag, for dog, cat, and bird. Now we're going to select the subgroups or the subcategories for each of the animals. So you're going to click on the categories tab. You're going to select the entire range of the uh, subgroup selection. So in this case, it's A1 through C4. Then you're going to click on the formulas tab and then click on create from selection. Create names from values in the, just the top row, because that's where our titles are. So we're going to deselect left column, then click OK. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the animals tab. Then we're, then we're going to click on B2, and now we're going to set up the dependence, pretty much. So you're going to click on the data tab. Then once again in the data tools, you're going to pull down data validation. You're going to pull this down, the allow, and then click on list again. Now under the source field, you're going to enter the equal sign. Indirect, and then in paren, the the first instance of the animal of the animal category. So in this case, it's A2 and then close paren, and then click OK. You're going to get this error message because right now there's nothing in there. So the source currently evaluates to an error. Do you want to continue? Just click yes. Let me know in the comments below if you don't get this error message or if you get something else. OK, now under animal, we can now pull down the menu, select cat, pull down the breed, now we can select the cat breed, Siamese in this case, or if we chose dog, now we're gonna have these selections. Okay, so you wanna delete what's in it after you've tested it. Now when you delete it, you're just deleting the content. You're not deleting all of the code that you just entered. So just select these two cells and then drag it down for as many rows that you need. And then you'll see here, you can select anything. Okay, so let's say under categories, you have more birds than cat and dog. So let's put in crow, let's put in pigeon, chicken. Okay, so let's say you want to expand the reach because currently if I choose the bird, You know, we still have these three options. So if you need to expand it, then you just go to the formulas tab, click on a name manager since we've already created it. Now you'll see here, we have bird, cat, and dog. So it automatically populated each column. So all we have to do is click on bird, click on edit. You'll see here, it goes from C2 to C4. Now we can just select it again. and then click OK after you've selected the new range and then close. So now when we select bird, we have all of the new options. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. Or if you have any questions about this particular formula or setup, and if you'd like to see a more complicated version of this where maybe we select 
colors for the animals, regions where they can be found, uh, we can create another video to answer those questions too. Thanks, and I will see you again soon.